time for school, time for music, time to learn together, we can do it. Learning is fun with Mr. C, and learning is fun. Once again, welcome. All right, all my friends, this is time for him, where we're going to dedicate a hymn to him, okay, as we know, okay? Uh, we are going to do our song, you know, welcome again, once again, but we are going to do our hymnal. Let me get a little, a little bit of more light in here. Oh my gosh, that's much better, right? Okay, so we're going to do our hymnal choice for today. It's called Rock of Ages, okay? Some of you might already know this particular song, but it's called Rock of Ages, and this was written, the words themselves was written by Augustus Montague Toplady. And the music was originally written by Thomas Hastings, okay? So those are the co-authors of this particular hymn, Rock of Ages. If you would, go into a Google search engine, type in Rock of Ages, okay? And type in the word lyrics, and you should be able to get those lyrics right away. But while we're doing that, let's get into some stretches, of course, okay? Get our, our minds ready, you know, get our, get our physique ready so that we can get our minds ready with our hymnal, okay? And carry on the rest of the day, guys. So let's get to it. Sit up nice and straight. Your feet are flat on the floor while your hands are in your laps. Your back is straight. Your shoulders are relaxed and down, and your neck is straight. Make sure to make sure you, make sure you are reinforcing that good posture in your neck. Take your two palms of your hands. On the sides of your temple and lift up okay chin is side, like slightly down and continue to have that posture now everybody let's roll the shoulders let's start with some shoulder rolls rolling the shoulders back breathing as we go all right great job everybody now roll the shoulders forward great now everybody let's rotate the next in a circle very slowly everyone Nice and easy, slow. Okay, great job, everybody. Rotate in the other direction now. Great, now everybody look all the way up. Look all the way down. Look all the way to your left. All the way to the right. Tilt your head to the left. Tilt to the right. And shrug and hold, shrug and hold, and let it drop. Once again, shrug and hold those shoulders, and let it drop. And now take your two hands and massage those cheek muscles. Massage them in a circular motion. All right. Great job, everybody. And let's go in the other direction. All right, and now let's do the same thing, but this time let's do it to our own temples, guys, to the sides of our temples. Let's massage our sides of our temples. That, let me tell you something, that really, really feels good. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, I just thought of it on the fly just now, that when you do this, this actually is a, is a nice little massage. I mean, it's nice if you have somebody to do this for you. So imagine, you know, just kind of doing it for yourself. It's, it's very good relief, you know. Everybody rotate. Um, Go circles again in the other direction. Okay. Just uh, taking away a lot of tension you might feel. Okay. It's good to feel relaxed when you're about to perform anything. You know, here we're just going to, we're kind of doing a sing-along, okay? But it's still performance. It's still in a way, you know, I'm about to perform in a way. Okay. We're praising God. And, and, it's, and it's just good to relieve you know these stretches help relieve a lot of tension that you might be feeling in the muscles okay in your voice which is you know it's part of your body it's all part of your body okay and of course for the head just you know when you're thinking you know it's it's good to give yourself those little massages there okay and get yourself ready before you're about to undertake a task okay so now practice our breathing one hand on the stomach Everybody breathe in, the stomach goes out. When you breathe out, stomach goes in. Ready? And breathe in. Breathe out. Once again, breathe in. And breathe out. All right. I think we are good to go. Let's get to this. So hopefully you've gotten those lyrics handy. Rock of Ages. Once again, words by Augustus Montague Toplady and music by Thomas Hastings. All right, if you look in the first verse, all the verses, by the way, sound exactly the same. This, that, that's what this hymnal has. There's no chorus to this hymnal. There's no recurring chorus, just a recurring, recurring melody, recurring melody that's uh, over and over again. But with 
different word, a set of different words. And there's about one, two, three, four verses in this song. There's four verses in this song. Okay, but I'm going to only talk about the first one. Okay, always, always go over the first one. All right, it says right there, if you're looking, Rock of Ages, cleft for me. Now, I always, I, I, you know, just, just the word cleft for me. That is an interesting way of putting that um, for this, you know, and again, think, think on this. Every hymnal is inspired by the words of the Bible, okay? Rock of Ages, first of all. Rock of Ages, God is, is, is referred to constantly in the Bible as the rock, okay? The immovable rock, you know, the strong fortress that, that, will, that can protect us, that, that can protect his people, okay? So Rock of Ages, cleft for me. The person is playing to cleft for me. You think of a the cleft on a rock, okay, where it splits or something like that. That's not actually what it's saying. And I looked up the actual definition. Cleft is a past tense. It is a past tense word for the word cleave, okay? Now, if we know what cleave means, it means to hang on, okay? So we're asking God, rock of ages, the rock of ages, to cleft for us, to cleave to us, to, to, to hold on to us, right? And then it says, it continues, let me hide myself in thee. So go with him, right? Because he's the protector, right? Let the water and the blood, okay, which are symbols of salvation, okay, from thy wounded side which flowed, okay, which we read about in his crucifixion, right? Be of sin, uh, be of sin the double cure, okay? In other words, he is the, when he said, when, when, he, when, he, when, they, when it says that, be of sin the double cure that means that's his sacrifice in other words he had to he had to make himself into a he had to uh, exemplify and make himself into a sinner to be the lamb to be the sacrificial lamb for the for for his people right so be of sin the double cure save from wrath and make me pure okay so so his his crucifixion his, his fiction his sacrifice was so that he can save his people from the wrath of God, okay? Save him from, from, from extinction there. And make me pure, it says, right? So make me holy. And that's, again, that's what he does for his people. He's just talking about salvation, okay? And the rest of the, and pretty much the rest of the lyrics, you know, refer to that, that idea, okay? So as we sing along, guys, Think on that. Think of think of what he does for his people, okay, and who he is, the only one, the only rock of ages. Why rock of ages? Because he has been, you know, the Bible refers to him as, again, this, the mighty one, rock, okay, and of ages, which means he has been, he, he, has, he has always been and he always will be. You know, he's the Alpha and the Omega, as, the, as Revelations uh, refers to him, okay? He is and was. OK, um, he, he, he is the I am, you know, and that's another reference. OK, in the, in the, in the Gospels of the, of the Bible. So let's sing this together, guys. Have those ready. Continue to have a good posture. OK, sing the best you can. I'm going to go over to the piano and sing along with me. And let's think on him always when we when when we're singing a hymn, when we're singing this. Here we go. Once again, this is Rock of Ages. Words by Augustus Montague to Plady and the music by Thomas Hastings. Save and thou alone. 
Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to the cross I cling. Naked come to the fortress, helpless look to the for grace. Bow like to, bow like to, bow like to the fountain fly. Wash me, Savior, or I die. While I draw this feeding breath, when mine eyes shall close in death, when I soar to worlds unknown, see the on thy judgment throne, rock of ages cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. That was Rock of Ages. Uh, words again, words by uh, Augustus Montague to Plady and music by Thomas Hastings. Everybody give yourself a nice round of applause if you were able to follow along with that. I know I messed up a little. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, um, it's uh, the first time I heard this particular song, uh, you know, just from my own experience. Uh, I, I heard it on a, on a TV sitcom a long time ago. What it is doesn't really matter, but I heard it. That I heard it done in kind of a silly way, you know. But um, but then I uh, but then and it was a long time ago, and I've forgotten about it, you know. And then I got to see the rerun of that sitcom again, and you know, I heard it. And then and then I heard it on Sunday being played on a, on an e Bible Fellowship um, uh, program. I was just listening to the recording of that and. Um, you know, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful song, you know, beautiful, you know, many, all hymns are really. Okay. But uh, this, you know, this was just such a, it just kind of brought it all back for me and, and, um, and, you know, and made me look on the deeper meaning of this song. So, uh, hey, if you had as much or maybe more trouble than I did, <laughs> or just as much trouble as I did just now, okay. Go right back to the video, okay? Practice along with me with your lyrics handy and just do it in repetition, guys, and you'll be able to do that. I'm sure you can also find other um, other recordings of this on YouTube or anywhere else, you know, Rock of Ages, okay? Uh, once again, words by, I keep saying it, just making sure we know, okay? This is not my song or anything, but this is by, August, the words were by Augustus Montague of Plady and music by Thomas Hastings. And guys, as always, I wish you Happy practicing. Until tomorrow, I'll see you again. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of the day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.